Buongiorno. <laughs> ready to go for a big trip? Oh yeah. Um, the almost ready. Expanses to Western Australia. Almost ready. Let's go. We're ready to go. In South Australia I was born Thieval way, all the way South Australia, round Cape Horn Bound for South Australia Sorry, I'm only just getting out of bed. Sorry about that, you can't come in. Good morning. <laughs> Meet Ida. Ah. This is Hi, Ida. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not dressed for company, oh, but. No problem. Pardon? And he's just got out of bed. Oh, wow. I'm in trouble. Come in. You're in trouble. Straight. Oh, I'm going to I will show you how it's gone today. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I can. Thank you, bye-bye. See you later, I've got the phone. This is uh, the edge of uh, Lake Dumbleyang. Lake Dumbleyang is a very, very large uh, lake in the uh, wheat belt of Western Australia. Uh, the lake is huge in size, covers approximately 5,000 hectares of land, and uh, when full, holds 250 gigs of water. This is another casualty of salinity in this state. This lake used to be a freshwater lake. This area was uh, identified as a large source of um, water for irrigation farming and for um, vegetable farming uh, sort of midway through last century. The lake has now gone saline and as you can see the trees that used to line this lake have all since died and bear testament to the um, ravages of salinity in this area. Well I can say that but I, um, Lake Dumbleyang is actually important in the scheme of things to to uh, reducing um, salinity, but effectively we're right in the heart of the, uh, the Blackwood catchment here. And it's a catchment that's uh, uh, 1.5 million hectares in size and uh, virtually 300,000 hectares of that land or 20% has been lost to salt. Uh, because the land is so flat, the water tends to run or congregate to certain points within that catchment. This uh, lake that we see behind us, Lake Dumbleyang, is effectively the plug hole on an 8,000 square kilometre portion of that catchment. So all water drains to this particular point. Now if this water bit can be kept moving to connect up to the lower points, then this lake can be recovered from its uh, salt affected nature that it has at the moment to once again become a freshwater lake and that's the importance of these projects is to not only correct the, uh, the salt affected land but also to also correct the rivers, the streams, the lakes um, which have all become saline as part of this greater salinity problem within the catchment. Which is the position of the government about that? Well, the government's been sitting on its hands for, um, in relation to Salini for, for over 30 years. Nothing meaningful has ever been done. Uh, in fact, one of the good exercises is that uh, whilst they were trying to work out strategies, a thing that they call the, uh, the state Salini strategy, that took effectively 10 years for them to produce and in that 10 years the Salini in this state went from 1 million hectares to 2 million hectares. Um, within two years of that state salinity strategy being released, it was found that it was uh, the information contained in it was uh, was too old and couldn't be used, and they suggested that another salinity strategy be started uh, to produce an yet another report. 
all that's been happening within government circles is that they've been talking about it, they've been reviewing it, they've been writing reports, uh, but nothing seems to happen in so far as on-ground type work is concerned. We lose 11.4 hectares of land an hour, uh, 100,000 hectares per year. In this particular catchment, as I said, it's uh, one and a half million hectares in size. This loses about 30 hectares a day in its own right. They saw he was walloping around Cape Horn. Away, all away. I wish to God I'd never been born. Now To the girl that I adore. Heave away, you ruler king. Heave away, all the way. Heave away, you'll hear me sing what bound South Australia. Here we are at uh, Wellington Dam, the largest and safest dam, safest in terms of rainfall in the southwest of Western Australia. This dam holds 186 gigalitres of water and uh, it is. Uh, uh, full or nearly full most of the year. The only use of this water is to supply irrigation farmers down on the um, on the coastal plains and uh, that contract is for 68 gigs of water. The dam was originally built in 1931 during the depression years using federal government funding. Uh, the, the, the dam was uh, raised some short time later, another couple of metres and then in 1960 the dam wall was raised another 15 metres to provide the storage volume that it currently holds. Um, it's unfortunate today when we're filming this that the gate valve that you can see located at the foot of the wall of the dam isn't open. Usually from uh, May until the end of October that gate valve is open to allow the flushing of saline scour water from the bottom of the dam out to sea. The process is quite a spectacular process uh, because 450,000 tonnes or 450 million litres a day of this water is wasted out to the sea. Agritech Smart Water Proposal involves taking this water and treating it by reverse osmosis 18 k's down the, at the foot of the Darling Scarp and uh, this is a reverse osmosis operation with a difference because it does not use any power. The reason it doesn't use power is because we are currently 170 metres above sea level at this point and our reverse osmosis plant would be built at 20 metres above sea level. That gives us 150 metres of head pressure or hydraulic head and that is sufficient to take this water, uh, which is only 1500 parts per million, run it through the reverse osmosis plant without using any power. Uh, the other major factor is the, the annual savings just in power usage is about $25 million a year. And uh, the idea of this is to pass that benefit on to the consumers and that's why we've offered to, uh, to undertake this whole project ourselves and to supply that water delivered to Harvey, which is the connection point that supplies Perth, for 65 cents per kilolitre as opposed to the government's uh, proposal which is to spend one billion dollars on a seawater reverse osmosis plant no more than 50 k's from here and uh, that particular plant has about a 35 million dollar a year operating maintenance budget and the cost of water coming from that enterprise is a dollar eighty per kilolitre so what we're saying to the state government here is that if they're really really honest about their policies for sustainability, for reuse, re recycling, reduction of greenhouse gases, this Wellington Dam water recovery project is the only project worth considering. In South Australia I was born, thieve away, all away. South Australia, round Cape Horn, bound for South Australia.